How do you find that coaching works best? Because I know we do it two-handed, but in terms of looking at uh, the, the, the number of people and the, the group and the way that it works in looking at coaching women and giving them tangible skills and tips, how would you describe it? Give me a snapshot in it. We always work with small groups of women, don't we? We find that that works best. No more than 12 participants. That means we get the time and the opportunity to work with individuals. They get really good individual feedback. But they also get the chance to have that group collaboration, the chance to share experiences. And women really like that. They like to know that women from other professions, from other walks of life, from energy companies through to pharmaceuticals through to defence, really have similar challenges. And they like to learn how others have overcome them. It's not often that you have that opportunity in that intimate kind of environment to share some of these insights and be really candid. So I think we actually guide people and all learn from each other. Certainly I know that uh, in the communications part, uh, in, when we're looking at recording people, playing them back, giving them tips for, to how to influence perception, how to form a good pitch or a persuasive presentation, uh, that they are very willing to collaborate and come together and do that uh, almost a, as a team so that when I host the Q&A, there's a really good sense of teamwork and people can then see and hear themselves back as others do, which always proves invaluable, as does the behavioural aspect which you, you focus on. The behavioural aspect is when we think about influencing skills, we think about some of the things that women are doing that perhaps they don't even realise. The use of language, their perhaps self-limiting behaviours that affects the way that others perceive their capabilities. And we know that in business, perception is everything. But I think what I also like about the session is that we really think about pressure. The session that you do in the afternoon when we look at overcoming objections, that you really help women to deal with the narrative is very interesting too. So I would say competence and confidence uh, are the things that are quite tangible at, at, and all in a day, so we really do cover quite a lot. We do, and there's a, a narrative, isn't there, across the day where we bring women in, we give them the confidence to share, but also we give them tangible things they can take away at the end of the day, and the feedback we've had has been absolutely excellent. I'm looking forward to doing that. Me too.